Hey everyone, Miss Fisher here, and today we're going to be reading Someday by Eileen Spinelli. Let's get started. Someday, I'm going to be a great artist. I will wear a blue smock. I will carry my paints to the beach to paint the sea. A very rich person will offer to buy my painting for two million dollars. But I will smile and I will say, I'm sorry, this painting is not for sale. It is a gift for my art teacher. Someday. Today, I am off to help my dad paint the shed green. It's where I keep my bike. I might just paint that too. Someday, I will make friends with a dolphin. I will call her Wilma. Wilma will let me climb on her back. We will speed across the water. We will sail behind tall ships. We will dip under the waves. I will ask Wilma to tell me all the secrets of the sea. And she will. Someday. Right now, I am shaking fish food flakes into the bowl where my goldfish, Pumpkin, lives. Pumpkin darts in and out of his pink castle. He blows tiny bubbles, but he doesn't talk to me. Maybe goldfish don't have secrets to tell. Someday, I will dig for dinosaur bones deep in a field where once a farmer grew corn and chickens scratched. I will find the bones of a T-Rex. The farmer will faint with surprise. Reporters from the TV station will bring their cameras and microphones. I will be on the evening news someday. Today, I am digging for coins under sofa cushions. Quarters, dimes, and nickels. Enough for a popsicle. Someday, I will be invited to the White House to have lunch with the president. He will want my ideas on world peace. I will wear white gloves and a hat with a rose pin to it. I will bring the president a box of golf balls. The White House waiter will pour tea. I will eat my salad carefully. No spills on the rug. In the meantime, I'm having lunch with my brother, Roger. Roger talks with his mouth full. He slurps his milk. He burps. I don't think Roger will ever be invited to the White House. Someday, I will be an animal scientist. I will travel to the South Pole. I will count macaroni penguins, all five million of them. It will take a very, very long time. My hair will turn gray. I will return home to a ticker tape parade. Five million people will cheer. Someday. Right now, my hair is still brown, and it's jelly beans I'm counting. Ten for my little brother, Roger. Eleven for me. One extra for the counter. Someday, I'm going to be a gymnast at the Olympics. I will tumble and twirl across the mat. I will leap into the air as gracefully as any ballerina. The judges will swoon with delight. I'll win the gold medal someday. As for today, I am practicing cartwheels in the backyard. Look out, splat!
Do they make metals out of mud? Someday, I will spend the night in Egypt. I will ride a camel in the silverly dark. I will feel the cool desert breeze as I climb down from the camel's back. I will take my frog print pajamas from my overnight bag and put them on behind a thorn bush. I will lie next to the pyramid in the bright moonlight. I will dream of golden palaces and pointy-eared cats. Someday. Tonight, I'm sleeping on the bottom bunk with Roger, who is afraid of monsters in the dark. I think he forgot to brush his teeth. His breath smells like camels. I turn towards the open window where the night sky glitters with stars. Quietly, mom and dad come into our room to tuck us in. Mom kisses our foreheads. When they leave, I go to my window. I see two baby owls perched on a branch of the tree. I think they're going to fly for the first time. In the dark, I smile right now. The end. All right, everyone, that was Someday. I hope you enjoyed this story because I sure did too. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.